Hello and welcome back to this NAS series. So in this session today we're going to look at snapshot friendly and what do we actually mean by that. So first of all if we jump into where the SMB shares are that we've, we've created you see I've got two. Typically they're from NetApp but this could this will work with any other any other storage vendor that exposes their, their storage snapshot or has remote BSS. So first of all if we just take a look at what we've got set here. So there's two different settings here. Under advanced here, we're using the Microsoft VSS. Now this is going to enable us to either use the proxy VSS or it's going to enable us to leverage remote VSS on the storage array itself. If we jump down into the second one, now this is where remote VSS is not potentially available and we want to use the native storage snapshot, either a native storage snapshot on the primary or a native storage snapshot that's been replicated over to a secondary system. So here, you see that I've got this, the, uh, the, the storage system, the share that's being exposed. Then we dive into the exposed snapshot folder and I'm going to show you what this looks like as well. And then it's going to take it all the time from this Veeam NAS backup. And I'm going to get into what this actually means as well. So that's the two shares set up. Let's just show what that looks like on actually from a UNC path. So under SMB share one, you can see I've got all of my files and folders underneath. And if I go to SMB share two, again, the same. They are two separate shares, though. If we go under here, though, and we've now got that visual visual folder showing and you see that we've got a generic schedule configured where it takes hourlies, it takes dailies and it takes weeklies. There's nothing called Veeam NAS backup. So what we've done here is we've integrated into the, the NetApp or the ONTAP PowerShell toolkit to create a script that allows us to then add this script into our backup job as a pre-script. Um, so again, we've been through this in previous versions, but to add this, add this script, we need to go over to Advanced. We need to go to Scripts, and you'll see here that we're going to add, you're going to leverage this PowerShell script that we have. We're going to give it the the uh, the important bits of what we want to do. And what this really is going to do is allow us to, prior to the backup job starting, it's going to go and create that snapshot. And that will create that snapshot with a point in time. And it's going to give it a name of Veeam NAS backup. So that we're going to use that as the source every single time we take that backup. So if we jump into here and we just start this job and quickly dive into here, you're going to see that it's going to run that pre-job job script if we actually jump or in fact let's just go into here let's refresh this you're going to see that NAS backup and now we're going to use that as our source to pull that data from that storage and this would be the same if we wanted to trigger a snapshot and a snap mirror or a replication of that storage volume to a secondary storage system and then we can use that as the source and then when we next come to run it so let's see that finish we can see that we've We've not changed any backup since the last the um, the last uh, last run of that backup job, so it doesn't take very long at all. You can see, right, that's finished. Now, if we want to run that again, we can see in here that that snapshot was made at five forty p.m. Now, if I go start again, and we just quickly go into there, so we can see five forty p.m. If I then go and take a, a refresh of that. If anything had changed, it would come up with a new a new version of that. But as no blocks have changed since it doesn't change, but ultimately that's been that's been an updated version. So actually just to prove that, let's actually go and put some new data in here. So NAS snapshot demo, just a simple, so it's not, and if we go into, we can see that it's not in there. So then when we actually go through now and run this again, you're going to see that modified date actually will change. And there we go, 2.06 p.m. So if I now go into here, this snapshot then gives me that. And on the actual backup job, if we go into here, you're going to see that one file at least was transferred from that source. 
And this is just for demo purposes. Obviously, there's only three files in there, so it's hardly, there you go, read and transferred one one file. So then secondly, just to, just to flip back to that other option that we, that we saw, um, if your storage array enables remote VSS, then we can also, just to quickly run back here, we can look at SMB share one. Now these are both on the same system. I just wanted to do it for demo purposes. I just wanted to show both. So you can see here that I've got that backup from a Microsoft VSS snapshot enabled, allows for backing up that the lock files. And that's ultimately what the whole point of this snapshot friendly approach is, is that if we can choose the top, if we have to choose the top one because our storage array doesn't allow, allow any VSS inter, in, interaction or integration, then that's all we've got. So we've given you the option to be able to run that. But ultimately, ideally, we wanna be able to run using VSS to, to QS the workload and also be able to back up those lock files um, as well as being able to use the storage snapshot, maybe more so on the secondary location. So if we go and look at what that job looks like, so under remote VSS, under here, under storage. So in this instance, we don't have any scripts running all we do is we have our simple uh our job actually running so under here just to prove what i've done so just under smb share you can see that newly created snapshot if we flip over to smb share and we let's kick off this job so this job is then gonna kick off and start and what we're going to see if i jump back over to what we're going to see is a, a, a spurious UUID, but this is the remote VSS action or in it's actually working that allow, and then we are going to use that as Veeam. We're going to use that as our source to be able to take that that backup. So you see the normal hourly snapshots. Just waiting for that that one to trigger in there there we go so this is that that snapshot and we're going to use that as the source now the difference here is that veeam nas backup snapshot that we saw before it was going to stay what you see here is that we're going to use that snapshot but then we're going to throw that snapshot away so that's why that other snapshot schedule is probably a good good thing to have for for other restore points in, in your environment. But it just gives you the the look at what we actually mean by that snapshot friendly approach is one, we wanna make sure that we're not impacting performance of your production arrays. We wanna make sure that you're being able to back up everything, including those lock files and a snapshot, a VSS snapshot or a storage snapshot allows us to do that. Um, and yeah, the ability to leverage those storage snapshots is a, is a performance tweak as well it allows us to to do most of the work on that on that production storage so once this is done which is looks like it's about to about to finish what we do is you're going to see that that snapshot has now gone away it's not there at all and if we go back here we can see that that's pretty much all all done and dusted and i think with that i'll see you in the next video thank you